and a student, athlete, and human being. On the basketball court, she dominated the Viking basketball program to win second Wasa and Wasa championships. Julie was selected as WCI's Athlete of the Year in 2001. She went on to UW where she studied Kin and enjoyed an outstanding basketball career and was the OUA Basketball Rookie of the Year in 2002 and, upon graduation, went on to the University of Western where she became a Master of Physiotherapy. Julie was such a dedicated human being and at the Grand River Sports Medicine Clinic she treated myself and multiple athletes that I knew and gave her heart and soul to her career. She really truly gave back um, to the sport. When she was diagnosed with, with breast cancer, Julie never felt sorry for herself. She worked so hard and threw herself into the fight against cancer and it truly was a fight. She battled, went into remission, and once again at a young, young age, the cancer came back a second time. She lost her battle with cancer at the age of 30. And I'm really, really honored to have Sam here tonight. Thank you. Um, just something very quick to the, everybody on the All-Star teams. Congratulations. I know how much work it is to get to this point, and I hope you good luck in the future. To the parents many hours driving and sitting waiting for the games to start. Uh, thank you for your efforts with your children. I know they appreciate it and they have learned many life skills through playing basketball. It's amazing when I watch them play at university that once their game was done they'd have to wait through the men's game before they could go home on the bus. And the girls would all be up in the stands doing their homework. That uh, there's no other time to get it done. Basketball is very time consuming at times. So uh, it was a sport she loved. She did come back when she was uh, first diagnosed and they had a day for Julie here where they played basketball. She had the biggest smile on her face. Uh, she just loved the sport as much as she could. Uh, she went on when she was in remission to go to play against her old university uh, friends and we would drive her to Toronto and then she'd sleep all the way home. But she sloughed it so much we were willing to do that for her. So to the recipient tonight, congratulations. I know you love the game as well. Thank you. It's an honor to be named MVP this year. Uh, I definitely was a little bit shocked considering I am grade 11 this year too and there's a lot of talented girls in this uh, all-star game and league so it was definitely a bit of a shock but I'm definitely honored because it just shows how much hard work and dedication can pay off in the long run. I think this year is extra special considering my public school coach from Plattsville, Mr. C, uh, came back to help uh, coach at WO this year. And I think that really solidified our championship win this year in Wixa. Um, it made it a little more special too. And the group of girls I played with, is it's like family. We're there for each other when we hit the ground. We're there to pick each other up. And day in and day out, we just work hard and work for each other too. And I think that's what made it special this year, coming from down in the standings and we were able to win the championship. Yeah, definitely my parents and my brother. Without them, their support every day, pushing me to play my best and follow my dreams.